Weekly Queue Up. I'm Hara as Amanda. And I'm Hara as David. And today we're actually going to be diving into my Naja costume for the Smite World Championship. $20,000 surprises! Anyway, since Naja's costume has a lot of finer details in it, the best way to make that is through clay. Yeah, so today we're going to show you how to make something out of clay from start to finish. For this tutorial, <laughs> you'll need paint, sculpey, wire cutters, clay working tools and paint brushes, a heat gun, wire, and something to prime it with. Sculpey is great because you can bake it at home using a heat gun or an oven, so you don't actually need to use a kiln. So you don't have to kiln yourself over it. It also comes in a bunch of colors, but we chose a lighter color since we're going to be painting over it. To start, you might want to make an armature out of wire or aluminum foil. Sculpey has a tendency to crack when it gets too thick. So we've started making a wire for my super secret Artemis cosplay, and this is going to turn into an antler. Or you can also find something that's vaguely the right size and shape for whatever you're making. For instance, I found this napkin ring that's about the perfect size for not just hairpiece. So next you're going to want to take your Sculpey and warm it up using either your hands or a heat gun or hair dryer, uh, and then start to apply it to your armature or base. And when you're using other forms of clay, it really helps to score the pieces as you add them to help them really mush together. Is, is mush a technical term? Totally. Works, yeah. and then, Once you're done mushing your object together, you're going to want to use uh, some sculpting tools to put in the detail. So we actually found this rubber tipped brush, which is really great for doing kind of deeper lines. Uh, but there's kits that are available at craft stores that have a variety of different things you can use. Once you've got all your textures set and ready to go, it's time for the fun part. Fire! or intense levels of heat from a heat gun, you'll know the clay is set when it's firm enough to not be easily indented. Afterwards, you'll want to prime your Sculpey with your preferred materials. We're using Mod Podge. Once the Mod Podge is dried, you're going to want to paint it. So we're using spray paint as a base coat, and then you can just use acrylic paint to paint the rest of your details in. Sculpey is really great for doing finer details in your costume. You can attach it to craft foam or warbler after to really bring out those minute, tiny pieces. It's also super easy to work with and pretty cheap, so it's a great alternative to some of the more pricier options. And now for our favorite part of the show, Cosplay, cosplay cuties. cuties! First up is Seraph Cosplay with her progress on the Tear Sword. It looks awesome. That it, sword is a beast. Yeah. I love the black warbler, something that I haven't seen before. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a newer material. It's pretty cool. And she's also using transparent warbler for the edge of the sword, which is pretty sweet. Mind-blowing. Next up is Eve Beauregard, who is a pretty famous cosplayer based in Australia. And she's going to be attending PAX Australia as Freya. Uh, we're having a big um, community night there, and she's going to be dressed up. It's going to be really cool. But she's posted a few progress pictures, and her armor looks really awesome. And last up is this sweet soul body paint by Saxa Peach. It is literally on fire. <laughs> she did the uh, recolor skin, which is the supernova one, and it's got some beautiful colors. But uh, Saxa Peach has been on, this, on the show before because she's done a lot of Smite cosplayers, and I just can't wait to see what she works on next. Thanks for sending in pictures of your cosplays. We hope that you keep tagging us, and we'll feature them in this segment. And if you're dressing up as a Smite god for Halloween, be sure to enter our costume contest for a chance to win 5,000 gems! So many gems! Well, we hope that this episode molded you into better people. And we hope you're really fired up to make some sweet Smite costumes. Don't forget, the Smite World Championship is around the corner, and you're going to want to get started on those costumes for the big costume contest. And tune in next time to see what clayzy things we make. That shit clay.